Paul Hibbler. I'm the founder of Pitfire Artisan Pizza, and I'm a pizza cook. I was inspired to start a simple, casual pizza restaurant when I saw the beginning of the whole casual restaurant segment. I've been doing this for 20 years. Pitfire is 20 years old this year. We have currently nine Pitfires. There's one here in the Venice Mar Vista area. There's one in West Los Angeles, Manhattan Beach, Costa Mesa, Newport Beach, Pasadena, downtown, the Fairfax District, and the NoHo Arts District. Today, you are, you are in the pit fire that is in my neighborhood, and this is a very important pit fire in the, in the scheme of things, because this was the one that I worked with an architect named Barbara Bester. We won an Architect Institute of America Design Award for restaurants. We were nominated for a James Beard Award for this restaurant, and I really learned a lot about the idea of integrating design and community and food all together in one happy little box. I think the culture in America, we all grew up being able to pick up our pizza, and we try to do something sort of in between a Neapolitan pizza and a more traditional, like a New York-style pizza. Our most popular pizza is the burrata pie. We developed that about eight years ago. What I like about the burrata pie, it, it feeds into all the senses. It, it is a base with caramelized onions and sauce. When the pie comes out, you put burrata cheese on it, and then you put a lightly dressed arugula salad with uh, hazelnuts and a little bit of vinaigrette on top. So you have salty, sweet, hot, cold, everything all in one bite. We've been working on a pizza, something that we've been thinking about for a long time, and I, I finally, our CEO, the guy that helps me run Pit Fire, Jeffrey Goodman, really pushed me to do a dessert pie. It's got chocolate and caramelized bananas and a little cream and some powdered sugar on it. So that is certainly in my uh, belief about pizza and pizza making, that's really pressing the envelope for us. We're excited about it though. The, the collection of pizzas that are, have kind of evolved over the last 20 years, we, we like to keep about 12 signature pies on our menu. The most important thing that we try to do with our pizzas is not try to crowd too many ideas on one pie. When we're making a mushroom pie, it's really about the mushroom, the flavor of the mushroom. So everything else has to serve the mushroom. So we have like a Northern California pie called Big Sur that has shrimp. And it's very popular, although some people say you're not supposed to mix cheese with shrimp, but once again, it's really all about the wood oven flavor of the shrimp shining through with just acid and herbs and cheese to complement that flavor. And I think when you look at our lineup, everything kind of sticks to keeping it simple not putting too many things on a pie because you want the whole thing to be balanced. I was lucky to choose Mugnaini ovens early on and I knew that I wanted an Italian made oven. I wanted, the, I wanted the stone from Italy. But really the reason why I chose them is because of Andrea and Reese, because of the people in the company. And now I've had a long, really pleasant relationship with them and they've helped us change out ovens and fix stuff and they've always been available. And then luckily I picked the best oven that there is. So I, the, the responsiveness, the heat sink, the amount of heat. When we first bought our first Munini oven, it was the 140 by the 160, their model. It's a specific size. And our restaurants ended up being a lot busier than we thought. And then they came up with a 180 centimeter oven which uh, they helped us change out overnight in a couple of restaurants. And that, that changed everything for us because not only were we able to cook more pizzas, we were able to cook pizzas faster and the oven holds the heat better. Believe it or not, with a bigger oven, once it's up to temp, we burn less wood. And uh, I just like the way the pies cook better. They have really bent over backwards to see that our needs are met. They're great partners to give us input on maybe a difficult installation. Uh, we've done some crazy installations with them and they've always been there for us. The most important thing when you're in our business with our most essential piece of equipment 
uh, it's a given that you, you're going to want to buy a good oven, but the most important thing is your relationship with the oven company. And I, I've been in this business a long time with a lot of different equipment vendors of all types. I'm proud to work with these guys because I feel like they are really trying to meet our needs and help us. Especially Reese. Reese is their operation technical guy. It's just been a joy working with him. When I installed my first oven, I, for some reason I couldn't keep the heat up. And I was, the restaurant was incredibly busy and I just had, had to put piles and piles of wood and I couldn't understand it. And then Reese, I got him on the phone and I told him what was happening. And he's like, uh, can you check the speed of the motor that's driving the fan of your vent above your hood? And I, and I checked and it was on high. And he goes, well, you got to turn that down. Your hood's pulling all the heat out of your oven. And, it was, and it was like coming to the promised land. We got up and turned, throttled down our, our vent, and then it was instant beauty. And that was just a, that's a great example. Another one was the restaurant was already built, and there was no easy way to bring a 5,000-pound oven in on a forklift. So. Reese sent the oven down in pieces, and we literally carried the oven, which is incredibly heavy, by hand into the restaurant and built the oven in an already built restaurant. We do a lot in our oven besides just cooking pizza. We just shut the oven with the coals in the, in, in the oven at the end of shift at night, and in the morning we open it up and we sweep out all the ash, and then we cook our panini bread in there for the whole day. And then through the course of the day, we're always roasting vegetables. We roast chicken in the oven, and we even do a couple pasta dishes in the oven. There's always stuff flying in, in and out of the oven in, in addition to six or 700 pizzas per day per restaurant. So I get my money's worth out of the oven. But it's always fascinated me, this kind of alchemy thing that happens when you, you know, it's essential, it's fundamental, and it's uh, pretty much bulletproof once you have it set up right. Being in the restaurant business is really hard, and it's really important to me to be working with people that I like and care about and that are, are interested in what I'm doing and not just an account. And by far, they exceed that expectation. If I had the room, I would love to have two ovens here. You gotta make sure you have enough firepower if you're gonna go to the trouble of buying a pizza oven and get a Munyaini. Perfect pronunciation. It only took me like 10 years, but I got it now. You know, life is too short. I, I really, could I buy a cheaper oven somewhere? Maybe, it wouldn't be as good. And, and, and the service that I've had, I've had some real world troubleshooting from them. And you just, uh, listen, we're in the wood-fired pizza, but that's all I got. If I don't have a great oven, I'm out of business, so. You know, it's essential, and I've really enjoyed working with them. I got a Munyaini for my house, and I followed my advice. I got a much bigger oven than most normal people would put in, in a home, and I built a, a, a really interesting house in Venice. And I use it two or three times a week. I've gotten more than, I've had it for just a few months, but I probably had maybe 20 events, and I've done fundraising for my daughter's school, and I just, Sometimes I just light it up so I have a fire burning in it outside because I just love it so much.